Here's seven iPhone settings you need to turn off right now. Now, if you're new to the iPhone or you've had the iPhone for a while, there are a number of different settings that are turned on by default. I'm gonna walk you through those. Generally, there are two categories. The first category is your privacy, and the second category is your battery, retaining your battery life on your iPhone. So first, let's just open up the settings app on your iPhone. After you've opened up the settings app, let's scroll down here until you get to the option that says privacy and security. The first thing we will do is scroll down and make sure the analytics are not turned on. So tap on analytics and improvements. You'll be able to see a number of different analytics options that might be toggled on here. Essentially, this means that you're sharing all of your analytics and your usage of your iPhone with Apple and its developers. So I would recommend on a lot of these to turn it off. You can see improve hand washing, fitness plus, Apple Pay, etc. Make sure that you toggle all of these off. So switch them all off. But I would also recommend going back because also Apple advertising might be turned on. This allows Apple to track your habits to better serve you ads or to have other people, third party apps, etc. serve you ads. I would recommend turning this off. And then going back, and you also want to go to Apple Intelligence Report here. And instead of report duration seven days or 15 minutes, make sure to set this as off. Now, after we've done that, let's go back one. You can see I'm still in the privacy and security settings, but if I scroll to the very top, you can see tracking here. Let's tap on that. It says allow apps to request to track. Essentially what this means is that apps can track your activity from one app to another app, again, to serve you better ads. It doesn't really add to your overall experience on the iPhone. I would recommend turning this off. So just toggle that feature off and then go back one. And next we will choose location services at the top. These are all of the apps that are using your location. What you're going to look out for is that little arrow right next to an app. That means that it has used your location recently. And if it's a purple arrow like there, that means it has immediately in the last few minutes or the last hour used your location. On any of these, if it says always, I would highly recommend switching it to while using the app or never. Basically set this to as restrictive as possible so that these random apps are not using your location. But if you scroll down, we're gonna also tap on system services. This is where Apple itself will use your location. Sometimes it legitimately help you basically do things better on your iPhone or use your iPhone or have your iPhone capable more based on your location. But I would recommend switching on the things that I have turned on and off the things that I have turned off. Scroll to the bottom here and under significant locations and routes, Again, I would turn this off, turn off, and hit clear history. There's no reason why you need to share your significant locations and routes with Apple. I would recommend turning it off and clearing the history. Again, it doesn't really do that much good. So let's go back to the very beginning of your settings. So hit back until you get to the very beginning. And next, let's check on the privacy of Safari, the web browser. So scroll down, tap on apps, and then scroll down again until you get to Safari on this list. From here, all you need to do is scroll down until you get to privacy and security. You're gonna to wanna to make sure all of these are toggled on. This will help as you're browsing different websites on your iPhone to help your privacy stay secure on your iPhone and not have it shared with other random websites. So for all of these, if any of them are toggled off, just toggle them on across the board. Next, let's go back to the very beginning. So we've covered a number of privacy related items. Next, let's cover battery related items to help your iPhone so that it doesn't drain the battery life quickly and you don't have to charge midway during the day. The first thing we'll do is in the main settings here, let's tap on battery here. And then from here, scroll down to power mode and you can choose to turn on adaptive power. This will help your iPhone manage your power, especially if you're close to running out of it. Next, let's go to the very beginning of your settings. Tap on general. 
and then scroll down to background app refresh. This allows any app to run in the background, essentially using up your Wi-Fi or cell data and your battery life. I would highly recommend switching this to off. Next, let's go back to the very beginning. From here at the beginning, you'll be able to see your display and brightness. Keep in mind, this uses up some of the most battery on your iPhone. So you want to limit the display and brightness only to when it's essential. To do that, let's scroll down, tap on display and brightness, and then scroll down. One big culprit is always on display. I would highly recommend turning this completely off unless you specifically like this. It says the display will turn off automatically to save battery life when it's not in use. So I would recommend turning that off. The next thing we will do is go back to the very beginning of your settings again. Scroll down to the bottom and tap on apps and then scroll down until you find mail on this list. Next, we will choose the mail accounts and you can see here it says fetch new data. I'm gonna recommend turning this off to not push and not to fetch. So switch this to manual as well. Essentially what this means is your iPhone mail could constantly check if there's new email. This drains your battery really quickly and is fairly unnecessary. You can just open up the mail app if you wanted to open it up and check your email. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys.